What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Satem Ali here, coming to you on a Friday afternoon from my house. Here's a really funny story, and you're going to get a lot out of this lesson. I'm going to put my sunglasses on because it's bright out here. Number one, you're either a 10 or you're a 2. It's just so simple. And I have conversations with people every single day. Every single day. And people say, Satem, I want to work with you. I want to work with you. I'm like, great. Let's talk about what you want to work. And we talk, have these conversations. And the funniest thing to me is when people say, I'm committed. I'm like, great. This is what it's going to cost you to work with me. Because you told me already what it's costing you to not have someone in your life that would help you. And yet, then they could try to pull this story like, well, why don't you coach me first? And when I make all this money, then I'll pay you. Are you kidding me? Now, you, most of you may be like, that's the dumbest thing yet. How many of you do that today? Well, okay, if you can just get me results and then I'll pay you back. Well, if I could just get skinny and lean, then I would eat healthy afterwards. Well, if you could just give me money in my account, then I'll go develop the skills and the habits and the, the mindsets and the skill sets after you put my money in my account. Well, if you could just like magically help my marriage um, and then I'll pay you afterwards. It doesn't work that way. Never has, and it never will. And the fact of the matter is, most people just aren't willing to do the work. Like, they want to avoid the work. They want something for nothing. They want everything for free. They want to lose weight without having to eat healthy and do the work. They want money to flow into their account without having to create value and increase their value and learn new skill sets and mindsets and to be bold and powerful. And they want their marriages to just like all of a sudden relationships should just be so awesome without doing the work. Now, brothers and sisters, in life, there are tens and twos. And you just got to decide today, am I a ten or am I a two? A ten follows through. Twos do not do a damn thing. They do not do what they say they're going to do. They make up excuses. The weather's never right. The situation's never right. My goodness, Nothing's ever right. They got to be in the right place at the right time. The stars have an aligned, and the greatest thing, the same situations occur for tens. The only difference is tens follow through. They find a way where there is no way. They make a way where there is no way. When there's no resources, they find the resources. They get resourceful. They're so clear about what they want to create, they are not willing to continue to sit in mediocrity. So take a good look at yourself in the mirror and just ask, am I a 10? Or am I a two? And you're going to make this decision every single day. Am I a 10 or am I a two? As long as you're, not, if, as long as you're anything but a 10, good luck in your life. Like, enjoy being mediocre. Enjoy having shitty results. If you're a 10, you'll get the results you want. Why? Because 10s always do what they say they're going to do. This is the reverend of the revolution kicking my shoes off, getting ready to walk to my home, reminding you, if you want a life of results, it will require you to get into this relentless, crazy, relentless, obsessed, relentless, brutal pursuit and a ruthless commitment to paint the piper so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promised lands, and your possibilities are waiting for you. They're waiting. 10 or 2. I'm a 10. What are you? I'm out.